Hello, the CenterCare Health Urology team would like to welcome you to your online learning module. CenterCare Urology is a leader in urologic services in central Minnesota. We pride ourselves on excellent outcomes in creating the best experience possible for our patients. We perform a variety of state-of-the-art procedures to ensure our patients are receiving the most advanced services possible. Our experienced staff includes a multidisciplinary team of physicians, physician assistants, nurses, and a variety of care and support staff to assist you through every step of your surgical experience. Hello, my name is Bill, and in this module, a variety of topics are covered. You'll be able to select the topics that apply to you. While viewing the module, you may pause the video at any time and replay the information as often as you like. But before we begin, we think it's important to understand exactly how your body works. So please watch this brief overview of the basic anatomy of the urology system. The female urinary system is made up of the kidneys, which produce urine, the ureters, connecting the kidneys to the bladder, where urine is stored, and the urethra, the exit passageway from the bladder. To understand what is going on in your bladder, a cystoscopy may be done. This is done by inserting a thin instrument called a cystoscope into your urethra. The urethra is the tube that carries urine out of your bladder. The cystoscope travels up your urethra and into your bladder, allowing the doctor to look at the inside of your bladder. Cystoscopy may be done alone or along with another procedure. When only a cystoscopy is done, a numbing medication is used at the insertion site and the procedure usually takes less than five minutes. When a cystoscopy is done with another procedure, sedation or deep anesthesia may be used. The length of time it takes to complete the procedure varies based on what other procedures are being done. Pelvic muscle exercises are exercises that strengthen the muscles that control the flow of urine and bowel movements. These exercises are also known as Kegel exercises. They can help keep you from leaking urine, gas, or bowel movements, if leaks are a problem for you. Both men and women can learn to do Kegel exercises by stopping and starting the flow of urine. After you learn which muscles to tighten, you can do the exercises in any position sitting in a chair or lying down. You do not need to do them while you're in the bathroom. Do the exercises at least six times a day. Each time, flex your muscles eight to 12 times and hold them tight for six to eight seconds each time you tighten. Keep up this routine for at least one year. You'll probably notice results, but it might take a little time. Kegel exercises can be very helpful to your recovery. They help reduce urine leaks in people who have stress incontinence, which means they leak urine when they cough, laugh, sneeze, or strain. Control sudden urges to urinate that happen to people with urgency incontinence. I am having urine leaking after the catheter was removed. What could I do to decrease the chance of leaking? A. Do jumping jacks five times per day. B. Walk long distances. C. Sit in a chair for long periods of time. D. Do pelvic muscle exercises, also known as Kegel exercises, six times per day. The answer is D. Do pelvic muscle exercises, also known as Kegel exercises, six times per day. Exercise and activity are very important after surgery. You'll be encouraged to get out of the bed and move the same day as your surgery. This is under the direct supervision of nursing staff. Your first time out of bed will be with the assistance of two staff members. You're given many medications in surgery that have side effects that can affect your balance. We don't want you to become dizzy and fall. After your post-surgical vital signs are completed, Staff will encourage you to dangle your feet over the edge of your bed in a sitting position. They'll give you detailed instructions on standing and moving. This process is slow, 
with resting points during each step to ensure you're strong enough to move further without the risk of falling. The best thing to prevent blood clots is to get up on your feet again and walk. In order to prevent blood clots in the hospital, you'll be encouraged to move and pump your legs every hour while you're awake. You'll also be encouraged to cough and deep breathe after surgery. This means you need to take a deep breath to fully expand your lungs. This should be completed every hour while you're awake. The deep breaths often cause coughing as the lungs expand. The lung expansion helps to prevent pneumonia and other breathing complications that may occur after surgery. Nursing staff will remind you and encourage you to complete these exercises. What kind of activity is expectable after surgery? A. Walking around the house. B. Deep breathing. C. Pump your legs and move your feet while you are awake. D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. If you have any additional questions, please contact Adult and Pediatric Urology Clinic at 320-259-1411.